Hello from Coleman and Company. I'm Stephanie and I'm here to give you a quick demonstration for you to learn the differences between our patch materials. We have one called literally patch material. It comes in a bag just like this. And then we have patch twill which comes rolled up just like this. Patch twill and patch material are both used for creating patches, but there's some clear differences that will make your process a little bit different. Let me explain to you each one a little more in depth so you can choose the best material for your patches. All right, so let's go ahead and jump right in. First things first, let's start with the patch material, okay? The patch material is the more classic style. Let's go ahead and pull it out here. It does come in a bag just like this, usually fold it up. The first thing you'll notice right before we even do anything else is the fraying, okay? This material does fray because the edges are not melted, they're not carterized, okay? And because there is no glue on the back side to prevent it from such, which we'll talk about again here a little closer to um, the twill. But this material, first of all, you can see that it has a really nice sheen to it. It reflects the light beautifully. But when I put it up near the camera so you can have a really good look at the material itself, you'll see it looks like fill stitches, okay? If you're doing a, an embroidery job and this is the ocean and your entire patch has a blue background, Use blue patch material. Look at, look at those stitches. Number one, they're perfect, but it'll save you thousands and thousands of stitches, okay? This is our most classic look. Um, I typically recommend this for people who want a fully embroidered look. Um, it does tend to be a little more expensive just due to the way it's made, um, but this material is, is just a great selection. I know the last time I saw it used and it was a perfect option for it was we have a local festival that uh, there's a queen that selected from it and we sewed um, her name and the word queen um, on a patch to be able to put it on her throne since as you can imagine embroider machine doesn't sew uh, thrones very easily so we created a patch with this material and it made all the difference to make it look fancy so that's the patch material 100% polyester hot knife good to go the next one is the twill. Now the twill comes in a plastic bag, actually. Right, let me get this off, okay. So here is the twill. Now the twill, as you can see, also refracts light really nicely, okay. Um, but up close, you'll see there's definitely no stitch look, okay. And it doesn't even matter which way I rotate this. It's still going to look straight up and down. As for the patch material, if I did this one and turned it this way and we sewed it out this way, you know it's crooked, you know. This one, not the case. So with the twill, that is not a problem. The other thing about the twill is unlike the patch material, see this milky white back to it? This is a tiny thin layer of glue. Actually, to be kind of specific for you, this is actually a layer of this. It's a heat spun. If you don't know what I'm talking about with heat spun, definitely check out my heat seal and heat spun video. But you can see that this right here already has it. That's why it's not fraying down the edge. It's still very smooth, okay? And um, when it talks about this material, when you carterize it or whether you cut it with scissors, it doesn't matter. It's still going to stay together because of this back layer. Now this is considered more of a modern look. It is also 100% polyester, but this one is what I usually recommend for anyone who's making patches for things like sports teams, police fire and EMT, dog patches, work patches, um, and this one's a little less expensive and comes with the material on it. So this is my preferred option, but that's totally a preference. Um, it's really just a, a choice between the two. Plus, I love the array of color selections. We've got tons of colors in the twill. So, all right, definitely check out my patch video on um, how to tell the differences between heat spun and heat seal. Remember to always use heat seal to finish up your patches, um, unless you're going to go ahead and make it Velcro, which um, you'll want to check out the video on that as well. So see you soon. Thanks for joining.